Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today we will be discussing about how to create uh, these flow charts or graphical images, uh, or graphical plots, uh, and integrate them into Streamlit uh, using Python. Uh, so let's get started. So first of all, what we need to do is to pip install a library called as a graph viz. Now after we have pip installed it, we need to create an object called as graph viz dot digraph. Now digraph uh, stands for directed graph. That means we will uh, we will be having directed edges in this particular graph. Assume it to be flowchart directed flowchart. Now uh, the next thing that we are doing is to determine edges. So graph dot edge, and then there are two values. Uh, assume it to be a comma b. So these two values are uh, two nodes, two nodes name that we are providing it. So our first node is 10 am comma start. Second uh, node is check mail. Similarly, in the next uh, next uh, edge, we have check mails and check metrics of pipeline. So uh, if you look closely, uh, it means that uh, key, if the nodes doesn't exist, uh, the library would be creating these nodes. And if the nodes already exist, like for example, in case of the first edge, these two nodes are unknown. But in case of the second edge, uh, check mills has already been declared in the first edge. So it is now un uh, it is not unknown now. So what will we do, uh, doing is that uh, an edge from this particular node that we have created first would be coming to check matrix for pipelines also. As you can see here, uh, an edge come is uh, is coming from check mills to check matrix for pipelines, and it is not creating a new node, check mills 2.0. Similarly, we will be adding all the edges A B A B, uh, and we will try to keep the names for the edges similar so that uh, we don't uh, go with replicating nodes in the entire graph. So Whichever nodes we wish to have multiple edges, we need to repeat the name. So, like as you can see, work on Jira ticket assigned EDA, work on Jira ticket assigned SQL queries, work on Jira ticket assigned ML modeling. So, you can see the similar thing here. We are having multiple edges coming out of this particular node, work on Jira ticket assigned. All right. Uh, and we can also provide labels like almost ever, like this can be some weights, also, this can be some condition, etc. Now, once we are done with this, we have declared all the edges. Uh, the last step uh, in this is to integrate this uh, graph uh, with streamlet so we would be importing this particular class that we have created uh entire file uh, from graph builder import star and eventually what we are trying what we would be doing is to uh, st is this uh, alias name that i have been using for streamlet so if we go over import streamlet is st and from graph builder import star now eventually st dot graph is underscore chart uh, and parenthesis we are passing an object called as graph. Now this graph object is nothing but the same graph object that we have declared here. And once we are done with this, uh, we are able to get such a flow chart for us.